Also, my family makes uh, mouthwash. Really? So, easy to make. You get hydrogen peroxide, you cut it with equal parts pure water, you use distilled water, and shake it up, and you can add some tea tree oil. And we have no gum products. We've used it for years, it's so cheap, and it's just really good. So, equal parts, hydrogen peroxide, pure water, and about to a quart, you would add about six drops of the tea tree oil. And wash your hands. Now, um, anything, any questions on the herbs? Yep. I would love it if you could tell me how to make peppermint oil and lemon balm oil. Well, you can make a preparation using like olive oil. You can, um, like we talked about yesterday at the market, you can gently heat the oil to extract the properties of the herbs. So you gently heat it all, never boil it, mm -hmm. and cover the herb dryly with the hot oil. Let that sit for about 10 days from that. Uh, I never steam still uh, anything, any plants. It takes great quantities, like a ton to make two ounces. You know, so I don't know about steam distillation. But to what make, about cold pressing? Uh, those are industrial processes. Yes. Yeah. Right. Okay, so then I got to dry the lemon balm and dry the peppermint you first. You do it like that herbal oil okay. we talked about yesterday. All right, I'll yeah. try that. Yeah. Now, um, anything else on the herbs? Oh, there's some really excellent resources these days. There's just a lot of people in the herbs. And it's wonderful to have uh, what you know and all this information that's handed down confirmed by research and by uh, knowledgeable sources. So these are a few of our favorite books. I have that one. Yeah. And uh, James Jews was a great author. I really love the work of uh, Kathy Kevill, Rosemary Gladstar. They, they're just wonderful, wonderful uh, resources. Because she's especially good with women's ailments. So there's, there's, this is a fraction of the resources available. And you can get you know, good books through your library. Um, in conclusion, herbs can really complement the healthy lifestyle. And they are very safe and effective. Most of them have been used since ancient times. So that's pretty good testing. You know, human testing for centuries. And that. And um, after all, nature was the first pharmacy, and nature remains today a bountiful source for remedies for our human care. So thank you very much. Thank you.